The Minecraft 1.21 information wave is finally here because Mahjong Studios just made its biggest announcement since the reveal of Minecraft 1.21 itself. In this video we're going to be covering all of the latest announcements, including our first official look at the Armadillo mob, along with the possible return of Fireflies and a whole new boss being added to the game. With that being said, be sure to subscribe for more Minecraft news and let's dive straight into it. So to start with, let's actually cover the very latest information we just received surrounding the armadillo. As we know, this mob did win this year's vote by quite a wide margin. Large parts of the Minecraft community did get involved this year, resulting in a massive turnout. And naturally, over the past few weeks, Mojang has been very hard at work on developing this new mob. On November the 8th, this was posted, saying come say hi to the new armadillo mob. Join us for the new Minecraft Monthly to get a first glimpse of the armadillo and see what's going on in our office. This video was very interesting, I definitely recommend you check it out after this one. But long story short, we did get this, our first official look at the armadillo. Of course, we got those pixelated trailers, but this is by far our most detailed look at this new upcoming mob. And as you can see, confirmed in this concept art is that we will be getting multiple different colour schemes for this mob, just like what we saw with the frog. But as I said, if this is what the team has come up with in just under one month, then I'm very excited to see what's next. So with our first look at the armadillo out of the way, let's talk about what's next, some upcoming Minecraft 1.21 features. Recently, we did get Minecraft Snapshot 23W45A, which added troll chambers, the breeze, and so much more exciting content to the game. However, one main feature that many of us were curious about was actually the trial key. This was heavily talked about by Mojang in the lead up to this snapshot. Even David, a developer working on Minecraft right now, did tweet out this, saying the 1.21 Troll Chambers are coming soon to snapshots and previews slash betas. Check out lots of new screenshots and details like this mysterious key in a new Minecraft.net article. So it's safe to say the mystery surrounding this new item was huge. People were very excited to find out what this actually does. And unfortunately, in this latest snapshot, people were very disappointed. Echo a key figure within the Minecraft community did post this on November the 8th, saying trial keys aren't functional just yet, with this image below taken from the Minecraft.net article changelog. Thankfully though, despite many people actually being let down by this discovery, we did manage to at least get some interesting information from Felix, a tech lead for Minecraft Bedrock Edition gameplay at Mojang, who said a photo of me eating a corn cob provided the spark of inspiration that led to the trial keys look. Also, I've been told I'm beginning to doubt this info. In case you do not know, Felix likes to joke around a lot like this about Minecraft content and changes, so I would take that information with a grain of salt. But below we got this very interesting close-up of the new trial key, which Maljang has decided to call it, and this has actually sparked a ton of theories about what this item will be used for. As you can see, the colour scheme resembles the deep dark a lot, with the blues, the greys, and also the cyan eyes. The leading theory right now is that this key will actually unlock a boss chamber within the troll chambers where we will be getting a new boss in Minecraft. And honestly, right now this makes the most sense. Another theory I've saw thrown around over the past few days though is that maybe this key can be used to unlock the deep dark portal, finally giving us our fourth dimension in Minecraft, which we have been waiting for for a very long time. Honestly, I'm split right now about what to believe. I do really think that this will be a key to some kind of a boss chamber within the troll chambers, where then you can get some awesome loot and so on. But I also really do want to believe the idea that this is a key to open and unlock the deep dark portal. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Finally, we have a hilarious post from Echo, who basically compared the Breeze's eyes to the Fireflies. In case you do not know, Fireflies were originally meant to be added as a part of the Wild Update Minecraft 1.19, and it caused 
caused a huge amount of backlash when Mojang did announce they could not do it basically, it was too complicated. So although this is a bit of a meme and a joke within the Minecraft community, I do think there could be some truth to that post by Echo. As we saw with the Trials and Tales update, Mojang does not really like to leave content behind that they have promised, and they do really try their best to actually add it no matter what. In the Trials and Tales update we actually saw the return of Archaeology, which was long thought to be scrapped. So although it is a very slim possibility, I do maybe think we could see Fireflies added as a part of Minecraft 1.21. I think it would really prove to the Minecraft community that Mojang does care. They've received a lot of negativity over the past few years about various changes and decisions they have made, but I think if Mojang did just take a little bit of time out of their development on Minecraft to get these Fireflies implemented and added for Minecraft 1.21, as I said, I really think that would make the community happy. So yeah, that was a ton of information. I've been talking about this over the past few weeks about the information wave as I like to call it, but I think we are already there. As I mentioned in my previous video, we've crossed over a certain point where we're no longer receiving content we know about, which was revealed at Minecraft Live, but we're now in the unknown, receiving completely new and original content. As we know though, the developers at Mojang Studio Studios are incredible, they work so hard on making Minecraft the best game it can possibly be. And despite what many people may say, I do really think they care about this game and they want to make it the best experience possible. So if you have any thoughts, theories, suggestions or update ideas, be sure to drop them down below alongside do this Mojang. And of course, let me know anything I might have missed in this video. Honestly, this is what we were all waiting for, the announcement of the armadillo and what's going on surrounding that mob. And hopefully if things go full steam ahead for the next few weeks, hopefully we will receive it before late December. But honestly, I do not expect any more major announcements in 2023, which is unfortunate, but I'll definitely keep my eyes out for any and all new announcements from the developers. The time of year where things really start to move up a gear is around January or February. That's when we got the announcement last year for the Trails and Tales update for the Cherry Blossom biome and also the return of archaeology. So although we did just get the announcement of the armadillo, I think that everything else, all of the other upcoming major features, will be announced in early 2024. But that is just my personal thoughts and speculation. Honestly though, I am really excited to see what Maljung does with this armadillo mob. I did not expect all of the colour schemes and all of that good stuff. And of course right now we still do not know what the dog armour will look like made from the armadillo scoots. So as I said, all of this I expect to see this year, everything else we will have to wait a few months. For more Minecraft news and information be sure to check out this video on screen right now, where we actually talk about what else could be next for Minecraft.